Hey guys, welcome to Joey's video tutorial on how to design and create your own title screen menu for your visual novel. Uh, this title screen menu is really easy to make. It's going to have a play button and a credit button for your visual novel credits to be displayed. So let's get started. I'm going to create a new document, um, Action Script 3. All right, and I'm going to make our title screen really wide. Let's let's make it 750 by 550. That'll be our stage width of our visual novel. And let's let's go ahead and import some some hmm, some images. Give me one second. I'm just gonna go ahead and go to File, Import import to let's import a library for now all right i'm going to import my illustration to my library let's go ahead and look at it yep there's our illustration and i'm just going to go ahead and drag it onto our stage it's going to be a little big yep it's going to be big let's see if it fits yes it does fit So after dragging this up here, oh, there you go. I think I'm gonna go ahead and like, yeah, let's let's turn this into a movie clip. Do, do, do. I'm going. To, oh, let's one second. Gotta make this big. All right, and I'm gonna right click, convert to symbol, and convert it to title screen. Gonna press OK. All right, so here's our title screen. It's going to, this is where it's going to show up on stage. Uh, the coordinate will be zero by zero. So I'm just gonna move it up to the center right here. So we like see a little, oops, see a little screen here, that little stage, that's this little white rectal, rectangle is just, is what's gonna show up in your actual visual novel screen on Joyly. So I'm just gonna move this, see if it fits. I think it's just about the right size. Maybe a little bit down. That's good. I like that size. All right. So let's go ahead and add a title. I'm just gonna make a random title for a visual novel. It's let's let's get some matching colors. Maybe blue. Actually, actually yes, blue. Times New Roman is good, or something else. I'm gonna I'm just gonna choose something fancy. Let's make. Let's. Hmm. Let's use, let's use, do, do, do. So many fonts, oh goodness. Okay, I'm just gonna use this font. I'm gonna write, let's just make a random title. Uh, Love is blind. That's very small, isn't it? I'm gonna increase it. All right, that's really huge. And I'm going to bring it up here. So this is where our title screen title would show up. And what I'm going to do is, well, I think it's a little, it's too, it's going to fade in because it's too blue. So I'm going to make it white. It's a little too dark. Yeah, that's better. Love is blind. You can have it anywhere. I think, I think I'll just have it here. There you go. And to decorate it and actually make it look better, I'm just going to right click. I'm going to break it apart. Break it apart again, and now it's vectors. So now that it's in a sh in a form we could edit more, I'm just gonna go ahead and, no, actually I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna right click, duplicate layers. And this, I'm gonna bring it down. This will be our drop shadow. So, right, let me, let me write the, let me write some labels. Title, and title, drop, shadow. All right. Oops, misspelled it. Okay, let's move this down here. It looks a little weird, so I'm just gonna go ahead and change the color to black. That's good, but it's a little too sharp now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lower the opacity to maybe mm, 36%. That's good. Yep, that is much better, I think. So here we have our title. Let's Let's move this. Love is blind. That sounds like a good visual novel I would play. 
Oh, whatever. Anyway, let's create our two buttons now. We're gonna have to create a play button and a credits button. If you've seen our, if you watched our earlier uh, video tutorials, you would know what how to make a button. I'm just gonna assume you watched it. If not, please please go ahead and uh, click on the link and watch the video, watch the tutorial now. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, make my button now. Do do do. There is my button. I'm gonna go ahead, select it all, right click. I'm gonna convert to symbol, button. I'm gonna write play, play button. And press okay. All right. So let me just leave it here. I'm gonna go inside my button. All right, so here's our, here's our states, up, over, down. Um, we're ignoring hit. Uh, let's let let's add some text to it. And when I break home script again, right? Oh, that's a little big. It'll do for now though. Play. And let's do capital P. Play. I'm gonna change the font color to white. Oh, it's invisible. Make sure it's 100% opacity. And I'm going to I'm going to actually lower it. To, to I mean lower the font size because it's that's way too big. That's a good size I think. Maybe a little too big, but I think it looks good overlapping the the black button thing. So okay, let's insert our frame. Make it make our buttons make our button states. The Name this base. I'm gonna name this text. Now I'm going to. I'm going to. You know what I'm gonna do? I don't want to do this all over again, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make the credit buttons now. So what I'm gonna do is copy this, copy, right click again, and I'm gonna paste over here. It's good. Um. Wait. Let me, let me change the layer name. Okay. And what I'm going to do is select the second, the copy uh, button. I'm going to right click and do duplicate symbol. What this will do, it's going to duplicate the movie clip uh, exactly into another movie clip. Uh, you have to name it a different name, of course. So I'm just going to name this credit button and press OK. I'm going to go inside and see this is the credit button uh, clip. And if I click here, this is still a play button. So if I change this doo -doo -doo, and say credits, doo -doo -doo, I now have two buttons, credits and play. Let's move this down actually. There you go, I like that much better. All right, so we have our play and credits button. I'm gonna go ahead and edit my play now. So when I go over the play button, I want to, let's just make it really simple. Let's just make this, mm, change it a different color. Right now the color is black. I'm going to make it blue. Blue's a nice color. So when it goes over, it's gonna go, go, black, go blue. And when it goes down, I'm gonna make it go I'm going to go and actually, no, I won't edit it this time. I'm going to make the text go smaller on the down frame. So when we hit it, it's going to feel like the text is going down, like we're pressing down on the, on the button. Let me just go ahead and do this. All right. It looks good. So up, over, down. Mm, let's move it in the middle. Up, over, down. That looks pretty good. Let's do the same thing again with credits. Over, right click, keyframe. Do, do, do. All right. And for our last frame, I'm gonna, yep, do the same thing again. So it looks like it's pressing down. All right, so let's make our hit areas for our buttons. So we make sure it's hitting it. I'm going to make it an, I'm going to keep it an oval shape. Let's just choose a different color. Let's do, yep, 1%. Make sure it's 1%, not 0%. And 
and I'm going to hover over this. Do, 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 do. Okay. So here we have our, our hit area. What I'm gonna do, because again, I am really lazy, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy the frames here. I have free, oh, let's label this hit area. Actually, instead of copying frames, I'm just gonna copy this layer. So make sure you have the hit area layer highlighted and right click and do copy layers. And now we'll exit back to the title screen movie clip. Go into our credits. And now we are going to paste our frames. It doesn't matter what, if you have any layers highlighted, just right click on a layer and paste. It's not going to paste over this layer. And ta-da! There is our hit area. Now one last step before we have finished our button. We have to put labels, if you remember in our video tutorial. So okay, for let's let's put this labels. I'm going to select this frame, go to the properties, and go to the label and write up. Insert blank keyframe. It's over, so we're gonna write over. And for down, of course, the same thing again, and down. And let me just copy this layer and paste it in the play. Doo -doo -doo. All right. So, oh right, one last thing. Since, since just so you know, when you export your fonts, it's uh, on the web, obviously, if you, if you know, on the web, they only have the standard fonts, Times New Roman, Georgia, Comic Sam, and Arial. So if you want to keep your fancy font here, you're going to have to convert it into a vector. So what we're going to do is really easy, just like we did with the title. We're going to, we are going to, uh, oh, why did I write test? It's text. But anyway, we are going to break this apart. So what we're going to do is make sure you have your text selected and you're going to right click gonna break apart and you're gonna right click again and break apart again and now it's vector. Do the same thing here because this is you put a keyframe here it won't affect it. Right click, break apart, right click, break apart. And do the same thing with the credits button. Do, do, do. It's not test, it's text. Oh I hate test. Okay. Break apart, break apart, all right, and break apart, and break apart. Ta-da! Okay, so there we have our buttons for our visual novel. Now, we're not gonna leave these buttons here, so we're just gonna like hide this for now. And later we're going, we're gonna have to delete it cause, cause, if we just leave it on here, it's going to, if it, if we leave it onto our title screen movie clip, uh, Flash or actually HTML is going to think that it's a movie clip, so it's just gonna animate it. It's not gonna treat it as a button. We're gonna actually make Joyly uh, say, hey, this is a button and we don't want you to animate it. We don't want you to loop it like a movie clip. So anyway, um, our title screen is done and let's go ahead and exit it. So make sure you make sure you know where you want to put your play and credits. I'm just gonna position them right here. Actually, I don't really like that. Maybe that's that's better. Oh, still not still not really what I like. Oh whatever. Let's put it here. This is a good spot. Oh, whatever. You can put, you can, you can like position your buttons wherever you want. Actually, let's cut this out because this, this is not an accurate, this is an accurate um, representation of your buttons. Let's put them on the stage. That's better. So now we should go ahead and make our credit screen, right? So let's go ahead and make credits. Um, I'm going to make a new layer and let's make another scene or another movie clip. Do a rectangle. I'm gonna do this. Oh, it's blank. Yep, it's white. 
I'm gonna do black. I'm gonna do this opacity. So maybe do 70%. 70% is a good opacity, right? I'm gonna convert this into a movie clip. Nope, not button, movie clip. And I'm gonna do, right, what should we name it? Credits. Now let's just, let's just name it credits. So this is our credit screen. It's gonna show up black. If you want, if you want to have a nice fancy background on it, you can do the same thing. Um, actually, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna to go to my title screen. Title screen. I'm gonna go ahead and oh, the buttons layer is empty. Let's delete that layer. I'm gonna go ahead and use our layer one or image, our illustration, and then copy it. I'm gonna go to the credits edit scene and I'm going to go ahead and paste it in this new layer paste in place all right now this looks all right right but it's like um it can't be the same like I want the black to show up for our text so we know that it's the credits right so I'm just going to drag this down to oh there you go so there's a there's our credit overlay our little black overlay I'm going to make it a little bigger do 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 All right, that's a good size. And now I'm gonna go ahead and write my credits. So let's let's make some text. I'm just gonna choose a simple font this time. Let's just do Times New Roman. Actually, no, I wanna do Georgia. Where's Georgia? Uh, Georgia, I'm gonna say again, okay. All right. Let's let's type some, let's type out our credits. Um, I want to make this one percent oh one hundred percent opacity. I'm gonna write credits right here. All right, and I'm gonna write. Let's see. Create. Put this down. Created and written by Jane Doe. Make this a little longer. I'm gonna make this uh, a line center. And another credit, I'm just going to write here. I mean, I can, I can, I can put it wherever. I can change the text size, whatever. I can even have it a uh, column displayed, but this time I'm just gonna do a simple vertical. So let's see, music and sound effects by um i don't know beyonce or something let's go ahead and line center oh um let's yeah let's unselect that and we are done with our credit page so let's exit it so here we have our credit page let's lock it i'm gonna hide this for a moment we have our buttons and there we have our title screen so when when we click credits the credit page should show up and voila and then we're gonna we're gonna um build it so when we click the credit page it'll go back to the menu right here so so all right i think we are done let's go ahead and save this project save it as title screen menu I'm gonna go ahead and publish it now all right looks pretty good and now I'm gonna go ahead and go to joyly.com and actually put together our little title screen let's go to novel manager all right and I'm gonna go ahead and edit it And let's go, let's go ahead and, and upload our visual, our title screen. Where was it? It was title, right, title screen menu, our JS file. And let's upload our images, our two images. Actually, we just had one image. It was just the illustration. For future reference though, like I'm just doing one image because, because I'm stupid. Don't do that, select all the images. 
and in Portland. But for now, because for special, special reasons, I'm just doing one image. I'm gonna press save changes. And all right, let's go ahead and build. See what it looks like. All right, there's our first scene. Let me just let me just clear all and start over. So so we have a cleared 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 build area here workspace. I'm gonna add a new scene, and I'm gonna use right. I'm gonna do title screen menu, and I'm gonna make two choice buttons. Ta da! For my first choice, I'm gonna do the play button, and my second choice, I'm gonna do the credit button. And what position did we want these two buttons? Uh, let's take a look. Let's go take a look. The play button, we want the, accord, the coordinate at... Actually, let's lower this, because I'm afraid it'll hit it. It'll hit together. Actually, no. That's better. Mm, no. I like it like that. So for our play button, we're going to have uh, 175 by 279. Okay. 175 by 279 and our credit button we're gonna have 265 by 408 408 265 by 408 okay let's create another scene and this we're going to connect it this will be our yes this will be our credit scene so this technically isn't a screen, isn't isn't a scene. It's just going to lead it, lead the when you click the credit button, it'll lead it to the credits. So let's just press connect. All right, so we we have it officially connected. And when we click it, when we click the credit screen, we're just gonna go make it go back to the first scene like that. Okay. So let's save changes. Save successfully. I'm going to go ahead and finish it. All right. Oh, wait a minute. I did something wrong. Terribly wrong. Right. I, it's title screen. Wrong movie clip. My mistake. Save changes. Save successfully. And make sure you export it. Let's have a good preview. And ta-da, here's our, here's our start menu. Here's start, let's see if it works. Oh, see, it works. So our buttons work. Let's see if our credits work. Ta-da, created and written by Jane Doe, music and sound effects by Beyonce. Not really, though. And let's press play. Well, play is going to lead to nowhere, but let's press it anyway. Press. And ta-da, there's our, there's our title menu. So let's restart the restart novel. And yeah, that is that is how you make a a title menu for a for your visual novel. So thanks for watching this video, guys. You can just so you know, you can do whatever you want with a title menu. You can you can yeah, you can even add more buttons if you feel like it. But I don't know what for. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned for more video tutorials on our YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe and like this video. And bye, guys.